Hey everyone, this is Phi. Uh, I'm about to play Project M. This is an early demo. Uh, this is part of AGDG Demo Day 12. And uh, I have not played this before. Um, I'm in fact running this in, in windowed mode currently, so it's not going to quite take up the full um, video resolution. Um, it also means it might not run it quite as well as we want it to. Um, I can't say for sure yet because I haven't tried it yet. Um, but sometimes performance seems to be a little better when it's in full screen mode. Um, the reason I'm not running it in full screen mode is because um, I uh, I couldn't get OBS to work with it for some reason uh, in full screen mode, so I just finally gave up and decided to run it this way. Um, hopefully it'll be okay, but we're going to find out. So I've not played this before. Um, I'm noticing... <laughs> uh, I did. I haven't actually played this game before. I did run it earlier when I was trying to get it to, to work with OBS. Um, originally it had me put in my my name and everything. For some reason I, I was not able to uh, remove or delete this, this data. It's, it's apparently storing save data somewhere on my PC, somewhere else on my PC. Um, app data or something. So I don't know why, but uh, I apparently don't have an option to delete that and, and put in another name. Um, but I, I have the word hello, and that's my name now, I guess. And uh, until the, the developer <laughs> puts in a way to manage your, your uh, file, I guess we're stuck with that. Um, all right, so I haven't, I haven't looked at anything else here. Just um, going to go ahead and, and paw through this menu, I guess. Uh, it says tutorial, combat mission. Sorry, rookie, we can't just let you go out and die on us. The only missions you get to do for now are training simulations. That machine of yours might be a mass-produced piece of junk, but it's still worth something. However, don't get discouraged now. Maybe it doesn't look like much, but it's still your machine. Spend some time in the garage and shop, and eventually that dull-looking something will become a fearsome harbinger of death. Good luck, rookie. Okay, so we got tutorial combat mission. I don't know if these are buttons. Oop. All right, I'm in the game. I'm using my mouse right now. I have my controller in my other hand, so. <laughs> okay. Um, so right now I'm noticing that my, my left stick on the Xbox controller works. The right stick doesn't appear to, yet my mouse will do this. So I don't know if I'm supposed to use my controller and my mouse in tandem here, or if this is... Something unintended. <laughs> um, I mean, I I don't mind using both if that was the intention. I want to take a moment, real quick, look at the page, the web page. Okay. So it's it's only mentioning um, keyboard and mouse controls on the website. So I'm I'm. Going to assume that the um, gamepad controls have not been implemented fully yet, and that maybe it's just partially implemented, <clears throat> which is why that was working. I guess I'm going to go back to keyboard and mouse. I'm I'm kind of curious as to whether I could play it with the <laughs> with one hand on the D-pad and one on the mouse, and if that would work. But uh, that's apparently not intended yet. So I'm just going to try and play it uh, properly with keyboard and mouse. Go back to a board. I don't really. Whoops, it's not working. Did I freeze the game? I might have frozen the game. I did see the the frames per second thing move, but I can't get anything to res. Oops, my character is moving. Okay. So yeah, I, I think I I think I crashed it somehow. Um, I did look at. Another screen. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but um, it's not responding to anything aside from my A and D buttons right now. So, um, go ahead and relaunch this. Hopefully, OBS will continue to capture for us. Close the window. Um, launch it again. Looks like it's capturing okay. 
All right, try this again. Okay, tutorial combat mission. Um, training simulations. I, I want to try these other buttons here. Mission, garage. Okay, so this is um, this is looking very squashed for some reason. I don't know why. Um, this text is also pretty um, squished horizontally for some reason, but um, <coughs> this is probably all placeholder anyways. Usually menus, um, I like to say people should use placeholder menus until you're like in beta, and uh, because you just you never know how how many things you're going to change. So like putting so much work into your menus before you actually have all your features in the game isn't really worth your time because you're just going to end up having to redo it. So um, placeholder menu stuff. Let's see, X is general stats. Okay, kinetic armor, heat armor, weight, energy. All right, so lots of Lots of stats. Which is pretty cool. It's very simulation y to consider there's so many things. So that's cool. Let's see. C is weapon stats. So right hand, left hand, Raptor S. It's an auto cannon. It has different damage types kinetic and heat. Downsized Raptor. Head is giant H. Or gigant H. These appear to be identical, so I don't have any other options. I don't know why there's two of everything, but there is. Um, upgrades. Let's see. I don't think this is implemented yet, so tuning points. Oh that's neat. I definitely like the idea of of tuning in uh mech games. <clears throat> Not that I've played a whole lot of mech games, so I don't know how common this stuff is, but I, I like mechs and stuff and I really like this kind of idea where you can um optimize a little how you like so you can get a little boost here and there or Make trade-offs and things like that. That's definitely a cool idea. All right, so gr mission garage shop pilot shop is item view under construction. Name Darius. Elite powerful hand cannon that trades magazine size for raw power. So this is what fifty thousand. I have what a hundred thousand. And I think this is just for the demo purposes that they just leave you a whole pile of money. Um, so it looks like I actually can buy different things. Very heavy, very powerful rapid fire weapon. Um, maybe I'll try buying one, since I can apparently equip two. I don't know why this says it's elite. Does that mean it's like super overpowered? <clears throat> Simple battle rifle for the Arrowhead BR. Very popular among pilots. Hmm. Vulcan gun. Powerful rapid fire. Heavy crafts. I don't really know. I'm kind of... Thinking maybe I'll just get this. Even if it's so simple. Kinetic damage, heat damage. That's a lot of damage. Although it's probably like. Uh, I guess it's a little more than that one. Fire heat 151, 301. Seven magazine size. Yeah, so it's pretty low magazine, but. That's a lot of damage real fast. Interesting. I want to try this. Well, this is very heavy. I don't see a weight here. <clears throat> I don't know what that would affect for my thing, so I'm just going to try this thing. I'm going to buy that. That was the right weapon, I guess. We got back weapon, head body. Um, it looks like the body parts aren't implemented. Got another generator. Sacrifices capacity for maximum output. Power heavy, energy hunger cast. Alright, so there's a lot of stuff. I could waste a lot of time in here. I'm going to try jumping in the game. I'm going to try that one weapon and leave the rest of it default for now. Pilot un under construction, mouse sensitivity is right here. Hopefully that's controllable. 
in the game. So tutorial and combat mission. I'm going to try the tutorial again. Um, yeah, the mouse sensitivity is a little low, so... Alright, that's a little better. Um, ooh, very strange. Okay, so left and right turns you. Left and right movement with the mouse. And then up and down very sluggishly moves up and down. So if you, like, you can't control it like you would a, a, a typical shooter camera or like an FPS because um, your up and down is... It's very sluggish. It's sort of like controlling a tank turret or something. Um, so that's pretty weird. I kind of... I'm just so used to like any kind of shooter. Uh, even third person shooters being able to kind of move the view where you want to without like resistance. So that's pretty... I think that'll be pretty hard to get used to because the left and right goes as fast as you want it to. But I'm not really sure what the um, intention was with the design decision there. I mean, maybe it works better with um, a gamepad for that kind of thing, but I don't really get that with the mouse. I mean, even, um, <clears throat> you know, some games they have, if they do want to restrict movement, they won't restrict the camera. So you kind of desync your aim with your camera. Um, and... Uh, so like if, if you move the camera up here, like the aim will kind of gradually move itself there depending on how it's limited. Uh, hopefully that's <laughs> clear what I'm describing, but um, I've seen that in other games. And uh, that definitely makes it comfier, I think, because you, you still have the restrictions of, of your aiming, but not the restriction on the camera view. And that makes your mouse feel a lot better when you're trying to move around and aim with it. Because um, this does, it feels very strange, especially since only one direction is sluggish and not the other or only up and down is sluggish and not side to side it's pretty pretty weird but we'll see if we can get used to it all right i got right into that wall so uh, friction is a little weird i'm wondering if there's um okay so um i've played a the game Ghost Recon Phantoms, and it was third person over the shoulder like this. There's a button to switch the side, uh, <clears throat> switch sides between your aiming and, and your character, which is really useful um, in a lot of situations. I don't know if that's a thing in this game. I want to check real quick. I'm looking at the web page. Um, all mouse fire, switch weapons is Q and E, shift is booster, space is jump. Boosting before or slash while jumping gives additional range. Um, A and D plus space equals dodge maneuver breaks missile lock. Okay, so these are useful, but I don't see anything to switch which shoulder your aiming is over. So like if I go up to this and I want to like peek around the corner, this this aiming isn't appropriate because I'm like over here and my aiming is, is not even over there yet. So um, it's definitely important with an older over the shoulder view like this to have a way to switch that. Uh, so definitely recommend that for the for the uh, developer. Let me try these different buttons. Here's my boost jumping. Um, all right, so A and D while in the air. I was just while holding space, I think. Yeah, A and D while holding space does that. Um, all right, so you can boost sideways and backwards. So I can boost and then hit the dodge as well. Might run out of fuel, fuel type thing. I have played the game Hawken, which is an, another mech game, but it's not like this. Um, so I'm used to the idea of fuel that regenerates, which is cool. I want to see, I keep getting stuck on those things. I'm wondering, <laughs> it's hard to tell, I was wondering if um, holding boost and using the dodge went even faster than just using the dodge without boosting. And it kind of looks like it m might. I'm not. Yeah, I can't. I can't tell either way. So I'm sure the developer 
probably knows, but I was curious to see. Um, okay, so jump with space. Boosting while jumping gives you bonus rage. So this, and then... Oops, I like let off too early. So just jump and use shift to kind of zoom faster. That's interesting. Oh, uh, it's got the... This is the feel bad for you side. I don't let you try again, I guess. Oh my gosh, I scooted it off. Okay, um... There's no way to hover, so it's just jumping. Um, a little used to having um, kind of a hover thing, so you could like jump and then as you go down you could like slow your descent kind of thing. I don't know if the developer wants to include anything like that, but it <laughs> could be something to consider. Now I just missed that jump. That was pretty hard to judge. Um, when your platform goes below your screen, like the edge of the platform, goes below the screen, you can't see anymore <laughs> whether or not you're going to land on it. So um, something to consider for that. Um, I mean, I can I can tip the camera down, I guess. I wasn't thinking of doing that. I, was, uh, I just kind of got used to just using left and right, not using up and down, I guess, because it's kind of doesn't work so well. Um, I guess this helps to pan down. <clears throat> I you know in games like Metroid Prime, if you played that, then you know that they, they kind of tip the camera down for you when you do jumps, and that helps out a lot. Out a lot but um, something like this, where you control the camera yourself up and down, it's, um, it's a little different, I guess. But uh, it's a little tricky doing those jumps. R and L mouse to fire, press R to reload. Okay, I didn't end up equipping that weapon that I said I would, so we're stuck with these. Alright, see, now that I'm here I really want to switch that aim around. Okay, there's missiles. Alright, missile lock, I have to use the, the dodge thing. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Alright, so I died instantly. Um, hmm. Not really sure what to say about that because it happened so fast that I couldn't actually see what happened. I mean, obviously I ate a lot of bullets, but um, yeah, I don't know. It just kind of it all happened at once, and <laughs> I don't know. It didn't it didn't feel good, but I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna try not to waste any time this time. Kind of like how you can just say screw it to all that stuff. All right, I gotta wait for my. Fuel to reload here. Alright, so I guess he died pretty fast. Um, the bullets I noticed, I was just kind of basic, doing basic strafing to avoid the bullets. Um, first time I probably, because I rushed in, it probably all the bullets just kind of ran into me. And I guess the way the game was balanced, you're not supposed to like take any of those bullets, so um Alright, so um Oh okay, see I cannot see because I got stuck the camera stuck in that wall for a bit. That's not good. It's definitely not good. <laughs> okay. Um yeah, the, the friction with the walls, getting stuck in the walls, is really not fun at all. Um, especially, oh, missile lock. It was on, I could see through the wall for a second there, it was over there. But um, especially for a game where you're supposed to be moving around fast, um, doing complicated maneuvers, and um, just having obstacles like this around, getting stuck on stuff like that is really crappy. Um, so I guess this guy's locking onto me through the wall somehow. Which is not really ideal. Um, I think my health might have regenerated by itself, which is. I don't know if that's a uh, feature of training mode or if that's just how it works. But yeah, so far it seems like you just keep. Whoa! Yeah, that guy killed me so fast when I got close to him like that. Yeah, so you. <laughs> you can't get close to enemies, I think, is. The lesson learned here. Um, 
which I think is a weakness because I don't really I don't know it just doesn't seem like um, that should be a rule that you just can't get that close or you die <clears throat> I like the idea of, of getting up close and personal in games in general um, I tend to like short range weapons and just having the option to have short range stuff out would uh, probably be good for for future designs of weapons and such things so you know it's I, I like being able to dodge around and kind of you know confuse enemies and stuff so I click combat mission we're gonna see what happens all right so my <laughs> my aim at this distance is pretty useless I'll try and zoom in here wow lots of bullets all of a sudden Getting a little stuck. Alright, missile's coming. I think I broke the missile lock there. Wow. Alright, more missiles. Oh my gosh, they're freaking everywhere. Holy cow. I'm trying to, um... Alright, I ran out of fuel and I didn't realize it and that happens. Um... Maybe make some kind of, like, audio indication when you're out of fuel or something. That would probably be useful. Maybe you can make the little meter flash a little. Um, not sure at this point what I think about having jump and dodge be on the same button. I mean, it does make it a little easier when you're when you're floating, I guess. Um, and the fact that you have boost and dodge as two different things. Um, <coughs> I did mention the game Hawken earlier. Um, I'm gonna guess that the developer hasn't played that game. I'm not gonna say you should remake Hawken, but um, just kind of as as a data point, they do have a boosting in that game. Um, they have it so you can boost forward, and then you can dodge left and right. Um, so they don't have boosting left and right; they have dodging left and right. So they use the same button for boosting, for dodging. Um, so dodging. It's basically this kind of dodge, you know. Um, so that's, I mean, something like that might be worth considering. If you don't want to do that, that's fine. I'm just giving you ideas, I guess. Um, it would simplify the controls a little, my goodness. But, <laughs> yeah, I got I got pretty stuck there. Uh, I don't I don't really know how to um, maneuver it well, I guess. And yeah, the the controls are. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say they're intuitive. I don't think they're very intuitive, but I think you could learn them. Oh my goodness! Lots of missiles coming at me. All right, I think that guy's dead. I kind of want to change the side of my reticle here. I wonder if... Ow! Did that thing just hit me? It doesn't look like I took much damage. That's a lock. Alright, so um, there's just kind of enemies everywhere and they all just kind of spam. I'm way too close. Um, just kind of spam bullets and stuff. Doesn't seem to be a lot of nuance to them, at least at this point. Um, get a little stuck there. <coughs> Starting to get the hang of the controls at least a little more. Ooh, that guy's still shooting me, somehow. Um. Alright, so that guy didn't even face me. I don't know why. So actually, it's pretty. The number of buttons involved is pretty rough on the wrists, actually. That guy's in the air. Uh, let's try and keep moving here. Alright, so. Oops, I just ate a missile. Alright, so it looks like you can do this indefinitely, which is this boosting. 
It does use up your boost, but it th then it kind of stops before it bottoms out. I am still doing it, right? Or am I just, is that just momentum? Maybe it's just momentum. Um, uh, maybe it's just boosting a little bit as it recharges and it just, the momentum makes it look that way. I think that's what's happening, but uh, yeah, and the fact that you, um, you can't jump while holding sideways because that does the boost, it's a little weird. Oh gosh, that ball. Uh, <laughs> that time I actually want, tried to jump and it didn't work. Alright, missile lock again. Oh, I completely forgot about reloading. <laughs> Did I just, um, does he reload automatically? He does. Okay, so I must not have noticed before that happening for some reason. Oh gosh. So I can go over here. This will lock again. Whoa. So they do die pretty fast if you just land all your shots on them, which means you're close to them. Because you have a <laughs> there's dudes up there. I can't actually aim up that high, wow. That's interesting. I have to go all the way back here. But yeah, you have quite a cone of fire in this weapon, which is... I'm sure there'll be all different types of weapons, from the looks of it. <laughs> I just dodged that, I guess. Oh, reloading. <laughs> okay, you can push these guys around. That's fun. Oh, he disappeared. Uh, use up your fuel really fast if you just hold everything down. I uh, tried to dodge those. So yeah, this is actually pretty rough on the wrist. I'm just pushing so many buttons simultaneously. It's a little strange, I mean, I, I've played lots and lots of first person shooters, so I don't know why that is. But. Reloading! Oh, shoot! Oh, I, I won, okay. <laughs> Damage taken, very high number. Okay. Um, yeah, so... I think I'm going to jump in here. I'm going to try changing that weapon just real fast. Right hand weapon. Right hand BR. That looks cool. Just see what that does. All right, sweet. So I got this. Ooh, okay. Um, one thing I don't care for. Um, you have to hold down the weapon, the uh, fire button, for like half a second before he'll actually shoot, because he has to take the time to pick up his weapon. Um, completely fine with this gun, just because it's kind of a spammy high rate of fire gun. With a gun that's low rate of fire, I just want to shoot it just like 
selectively, you know? Like I want to aim and then click and then click to shoot and then aim and then click to shoot and that kind of thing and I can't... Like you have to time it, you have to hold it for the right amount of time to, <laughs> to fire selectively, so um, not a fan of that at all. Um, I definitely recommend just making it shoot when you click the button. Um, just like every game I've played, basically. Um, I think that would be a lot better. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm not going to drag this this video on any longer, but um, great concept, I think. I, I really like this style of game. Um, I, I, I love all the, the little details that you've um, at least uh, kind of alluded to with all the, the statistics, all the different weapons and parts. Um, really cool stuff. I think it's pretty sweet that you already have like different weapons in and everything. Um, I think the controls could be improved for sure. Um, I don't like having dodge and jump on the same button. That just doesn't really work for me. Um, you also have the little boosty scoot thing which is completely independent of dodge. Which is... Um, I mean, it's okay. I, I mean, definitely just having a, a forward boost always makes sense. You know, I can always just scoot around like this, and that's cool. Um, but having both a sideways boost and a dodge is a little redundant, and it, you know, it takes up these extra buttons, and they all use up the same fuel. So, um, you know, consider making it so that, you know, boost maybe just works forwards, and then you can dodge sideways. That, uh... I mean, obviously you're also using it with your strafing, which, um, you know, maybe you could rebalance without that or make it make the unboosted strafe go a little faster or something like that. Um, honestly, I think that would be better anyways, considering that this re requires boost, so to have to just do a normal strafe with boost all the time for it to be effective, I don't think that's a very good idea because it's limited. <clears throat> so yeah, something to consider. I think it would play a lot more intuitively and smoothly, perhaps. Um, it's like I fell in the ground a little bit there for a second. Um, yeah, the coll collisions, the friction doesn't really work very well. Kind of gets stuck in the walls. The camera kind of gets... It's working okay here, but in the, at that other place it kind of gets stuck in the wall. Um, this isn't the, I mean, this looks ugly, but this is still playable. It's when it, <laughs> when it completely blocks the camera. Yeah, see, and you can kind of see through the wall here, so that's not good either, but when it completely blocks the camera, that's really not good. Um, like I said before, the, the platforming is, is a little challenging. Um, I probably, if I were you, I would consider not putting too much of this kind of platforming in the game. Um, and that's up to you. I mean, maybe you can make it easier. Um, it, do, it does get easier, obviously, if you kind of look down like this, but your player may not think to. Um, you know, it's, it's a possibility. Like, I didn't until I kind of thought about it <laughs> after a few times that I could actually still look down like this, and that helps out. But, um... Another thing to consider is the, the idea of um, being able to hover instead of just jump. In fact, it seems like your jump is always exactly the same height. Um, you know, it's pretty typical in, in this kind of game to be able to kind of control your height jump and also, you know, just kind of use some fuel to kind of slow your descent a little um, after you're in the air, that kind of thing. Maybe even... Um, maybe even thrust enough to continue going upwards um, after you jump. You know what I mean? Like if, I, if I'm if i falling and then I just hold down the space bar and it gives me a, enough thrust to uh, to go back up a bit if I have that much fuel and that kind of thing can be good. Um, just things to consider and yeah I think well, obviously the, the the enemies and, and kind of tweaking those and figuring, it, figuring out a design that um, works well with your controls and everything like the the fact that they just kind of shoot at you with that slight slight delay so you just have to kind of constantly strafe um, 
I mean, that kind of works, but it's not really great. So maybe you can figure something else out. I don't really have a suggestion for um, what will work better for that. Um, you know, you can consider AI type of things, like maybe the longer the longer they they see you in a spot then like the more accurate they get things like that you know that's that's in-depth ai type things but um something for you to figure out maybe study some other games you like i don't know what i haven't played a lot of games like this so I'm not really sure in any case i think that's probably about all i'm gonna say about it um pretty sweet game kind of want to shoot something with this other gun wow Okay, <laughs> never mind. All right, so the the thing about dying instantly when you get up close like that that kind of sucks. Um, and uh, maybe you could like add a radar or something because those guys like ambush me big time around that corner. Mm. But yeah, I'm I'm gonna end the video. Um, pretty sweet looking game. Definitely, I I hope you continue on with it. I know it's it, this is really ambitious. Um, but uh, pretty impressive what you have so far, honestly. And um, yeah, good luck for sure.